Green walls, also referred to as living walls, are a great solution for turning a plain, unattractive wall into a lush, eye-catching vertical garden. Both commercial and residential property owners across the country are opting to install green walls, not just for their beauty, but also to help reduce energy costs, increase property values, and to promote more sustainable, eco-friendly environments. Turnasol SiteWorks Modular Living Wall product, referred to as VGM, simplifies the construction process using recycled plastic planting modules that attach to stainless steel hanging rails. Each module includes four hanging brackets and a soil retention bag to hold the growing medium. Alternatively, the optional sponge-like VGM media block can be used for ease of installation and improved overall plant and system performance. Due to the one to three month time needed for your plants to become established before hanging the modules, you'll want to plant your project well in advance of construction. To get started, determine the number of Turnisol VGM modules and rails that you will need by measuring the wall you plan to cover. It's also important to confirm ahead of time that the wall can withstand the weight of the modules. When wet, each unit can weigh up to 150 pounds. Available in six or 10 inch depths, each standard VGM module is 19 inches wide by 22 inches in height. Rail options vary in length from one to three modules, depending on your design needs. While you can mount the rails directly to the wall, C channels are recommended to support the rails. This will allow you to make small adjustments to rail placements when hanging the modules. Once you have the product on hand, you can begin to assemble the modules. Each module has six panels that snap together in a specific way. You can tell the interior from the exterior side by the surface of the plastic. The interior side has pockets while the exterior side is smooth. There are five tabs on the front and rear panels that connect to corresponding pockets on each side panel. To ensure that the front and rear panels are oriented correctly, look for the yellow arrow that denotes the top edge of each panel. Snap the front and back panels to one of the side panels, making sure that you have the tabs lined up properly. Next, snap the second side panel into place as you did with the first one. Now that you have the four sides assembled, snap the bottom panel into place so that you are left with a five-sided box. If you are using the included soil retention bag, insert it into the top of the module and fill it with the desired growing medium. If using the optional media blocks, simply insert two blocks side by side to fill the interior of the module. If using the 10 inch module, you will need four media blocks per unit. Once the growing media is in place, you can finish the assembly by snapping the top panel into place. With all of the VGM modules completely assembled, you can begin adding your plants. Each module can accommodate up to 16 four inch pots on the front side, as well as four four inch pots on the sides or top sections. It's a good idea to check with a local nursery when selecting plants. Consideration should be given to the general conditions for your geographic zone, as well as possible micro conditions at the site like temperature and sun exposure. Because plants used in a green wall are subject to greater stress than typical applications, you'll want to select plants that are two steps hardier than the average for your geographic location. Check the online USDA plant hardiness map for details. If using media blocks, be sure to hydrate them fully before you begin adding plants. Also, depending on the size of the plants used, you may need to remove the two horizontal straps within each window of the module's front panel. For smaller plants, it's a good idea to leave these in place for added support. Next, slice the front of the soil retention bag or media block wide and deep enough to accept the plant's root system. With planting complete, arrange the modules on their back, preferably at a 45 degree angle, in an area where the plants will have the opportunity to establish themselves before you build your wall. When you're ready to build your green wall, begin by measuring and marking where you will mount the horizontal seat channels that will eventually support the VGM mounting rails. Each strut should be anchored at the wall's optimal support points and spaced out at the appropriate intervals based on the rail size you're using. The VGM rails mount vertically to the seat channels and will need to be spaced 19 and 11 16th inches apart. This is where using the C-channels will make the installation a little easier when hanging the modules.
Before you hang the VGM modules, you will first need to install a drip irrigation system. Depending on your preference, you can install the entire system in advance, or you can install the lateral lines with multi-port emitters first. You can then run distribution tubing from the emitter to each module as you install them. Each module is mounted to the rails using four brackets. Simply attach the brackets to the corners of the module, then hang the assembly by inserting the bracket tabs into the corresponding slots in the rails. The great thing about this design is it makes removing the modules for future maintenance much easier. It's important to note that more green walls fail because of improper irrigation than any other reason. Program the irrigation controller to run frequent cycles for short durations. This will help to prevent the overwatering that can occur from extended run times and will serve to keep the plants from drying out between watering cycles. The addition of a soil moisture sensor can also help in managing the irrigation system. For detailed instructions on building a Turnisol SiteWorks VGM living wall system, please refer to the manufacturer's field guide. You can also learn more at your local Ewing branch or by visiting us online at ewingirrigation.com.